Hey everyone, Jacobs here. Today's topic is Oppenheimer, the next Nolan's masterpiece. Attention, all Christopher Nolan fans, his next film, Oppenheimer, is almost here. The upcoming historical drama tracks the creation and use of the atomic bomb, which was made by the scientist Robert Oppenheimer. Opening with a fiery blaze, the official trailer for Oppenheimer is full of Nolan-esque tension and spectacle. Clearly, we're in for a reckoning that will take us back to one of the most formative moments in history, when humanity was tested by greed, war, and catastrophic weaponry. Oppenheimer will be Nolan's first R-rated movie since 2002's Insomnia, that's starring Al Pacino and Robbie Williams. The film is also Nolan's longest, with a runtime just shy of the three-hour mark. The director's previous longest film, Interstellar, ran two hours and 49 minutes. But is Nolan's 12th film will be masterpiece like his other's film? I believe it would, and I will tell you why. The first movie to be shot on black and white IMAX. For the first time, a black and white IMAX camera will be used for multiple different scenes. Oppenheimer will be shot on a combination of IMAX 65mm and 65mm large format film photography, including, for the first time ever, sections in IMAX black and white analog photography. Furthermore, Oppenheimer will be Christopher Nolan's sixth film to be shot on IMAX film cameras following The Dark Knight, 2008, The Dark Knight Rises, 2012, Interstellar, 2014, Dunkirk, 2017, and Tenet, 2020. However, in order to strengthen the historic impact, some of the scenes will be shot in black and white. IMAX film stock runs 11 miles long and weighs 600 pounds for this movie. In the interview, Nolan said, The sharpness and the clarity and the depth of the image is unparalleled. You're getting a feeling of 3D without the glasses. You've got a huge screen and you're filling the peripheral vision of the audience. You're immersing them in the world of the film. Damn, that's another level of cinema experience. Shot by the top of the game, Hoyt Van Hoytema. The Academy Award nominee cinematographer, Hoyt Van Hoytema, is renowned for his exceptional skills in cinematography and has worked on numerous acclaimed films. Hoyt Van Hoytema gained significant recognition for his collaboration with director Christopher Nolan. He worked on Nolan's films such as Interstellar, 2014, Dunkirk, 2017, and Tenet, 2020, making Oppenheimer fourth collaboration with Christopher Nolan. His work on Interstellar was particularly praised for its stunning visuals and innovative use of IMAX cameras. Furthermore, Hoytema served as the cinematographer for the James Bond film Spectre, 2015, directed by Sam Mendes. His work on the film was highly regarded, contributing to the sleek and stylish aesthetic associated with the Bond franchise. Additionally, Hoytema worked on films like Ad Astra, 2019, directed by James Gray and Her, 2013, directed by Spike Jones. His cinematography in these films received critical acclaim, further establishing his reputation as a talented cinematographer. His ability to create visually captivating and immersive film experiences will surely make Oppenheimer to be Nolan's masterpiece after Interstellar. The script wrote by Nolan himself, Christopher Nolan, revealed that he did something during the development of Oppenheimer that he's never done before in more than two decades of making movies. He wrote a script in the first person. When sending the finished Oppenheimer screenplay to his visual effects supervisor, Andrew Jackson, Nolan stressed to him that, we have to find a way into this guy's head. We've got to see the world the way he sees it. We've got to see the atoms moving. We've got to see the way he's imagining waves of energy, the quantum world. And then we have to see how that translates into the Trinity test. And we have to feel the danger, feel the threat of all this somehow. Nolan believed this strategy was born from the idea of how we get in somebody's head and see how they were visualizing this radical reinvention of physics. One of the things that cinema has struggled with historically is the representation of intelligence or genius. It very often fails to engage people. Recreate an atomic bomb explosion without CGI. While Avatar The Way of Water director James Cameron is in a race against Marvel movies in terms of VFX digital effects, Nolan opted not to use computer-generated effects for the upcoming atomic bomb origin story, Oppenheimer. That's right. Nolan literally blew things up. Recreating the Trinity Test 
The first nuclear weapon detonation ever without the use of computer graphics was a huge challenge for Nolan. But hey, it's Christopher Nolan, guys. The man along with his team who conduct research and portrayed a fictional black hole for Interstellar movie that quite accurately with scientists found five years after the movie released. This time Nolan team up with his visual effects supervisor, Andrew Jackson, ordered him to how they could do a lot of the visual elements of the film practically, from representing quantum dynamics and quantum physics to the Trinity test itself, to recreating Los Alamos up on a mesa in New Mexico in extraordinary weather, a lot of which was needed for the film. In terms of the very harsh conditions out there, there were huge practical challenges. We just can't wait to see the explosion on IMAX. Hope the theater doesn't explode too. Star-studded cast to the screen. The Oppenheimer cast is so star-studded, and here's the list. Cillian Murphy plays J. Robert Oppenheimer. Emily Blunt plays Catherine Oppenheimer, the wife of J. Robert Oppenheimer. Matt Damon plays Leslie Groves, director of The Manhattan Project, which was an undertaking to develop the atomic bomb. Robert Downey Jr. plays Louis Strauss, who served on the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission. Casey Affleck plays Boris Posh, a U.S. Army intelligence officer. Gary Oldman plays President Harry S. Truman. Florence Pugh plays Jean Tatlock, a physician and psychiatrist. Kenneth Branagh plays Niels Bohr, a physicist and philosopher. Josh Hartnett plays Ernest Lawrence, a physicist. Rami Malek plays David Hill. Jason Clark plays Robert Robb, an attorney and special counsel. Alex Wolf's character is not yet known. Alden Ehrenreich's character is not yet known. Benny Safdie plays Edward Teller, a physicist. Tony Goldwyn plays Gordon Gray, an attorney and government official. Jack Quaid plays Richard Feynman, a physicist. Michael Angarano plays Robert Serber, a physicist. Josh Peck plays Kenneth Bainbridge, a physicist. But that's not all. Dane DeHaan, Gustav Skarsgård, James Darcy, Matthew Modine, David Krumholtz, and so many other actors also appear in the film. So there are some reasons why Oppenheimer will be the next Nolan's masterpiece. But to prove it right, you must experience it. So don't forget to watch Oppenheimer in IMAX July 21st, 2023. See you on theater, guys. If there's any topic that you want me to discuss, please comment below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, turn notification on. See you in the next video.